Remember when you were a kid and you played with a top or a gyroscope? It turns out these toys have practical applications in the exciting field of astrophysics, and you don't have to be a rocket scientist to use them. Let's take a look at these concepts with a model of a spin-stabilized satellite, which will show how a satellite's position, or as we will call it, attitude, can be controlled by gyroscopic motion. Okay, for our spin-stabilized satellite, we need a satellite box, just like this. We need four solar panels with two connectors. We have these connectors to connect our four solar panels to the motor. And we also have a momentum wheel that, that will show the movement of the satellite. Okay, so what we do is we stick these two connectors inside of the satellite pushing the solar panel up to the wall of the box and using connector tabs like these we fasten the solar panel to the box. So now you need to separate the cables out and as you can see each one has a positive and a negative end. You take the end and you connect it with the connector cable. The positives all connect to one cable and the negatives all connect to the other. Now our next step will be to connect the cables together for the motor. Next, we will put the motor in a hole at the bottom of the box, so that way we can attach the wheel. And so what we have done is attached everything and then we have put a piece of string through the top of the box and taped it down. I'm going to add a couple more pieces of tape just to ensure it's not going to come out. And now we're going to close our satellite and also tape this down just to make sure that everything stays closed and stays in place. And see, now we have a spin stabilized satellite. In theory, when we hold the satellite up to the light sources, it'll charge the solar panels and make the motor spin the satellite in a specific direction. So in theory, if we start the satellite spinning slowly in this direction, the light from the solar panels will charge the motor and stop the satellite from spinning this direction and change it to the direction that we want it to go in. As you can see, now it's stopped and it's starting to spin in the opposite direction. works because the satellite is acting as a gyroscope, which is an object that spins stably in three different places. This is useful for satellites because it allows for only a small amount of energy to be used. However, the solar panels cannot collect power at all times because of the spinning motion. Still, a spin stabilized satellite is useful for collecting data once every rotation. In fact, the Hubble Space Telescope also uses a spin stabilized satellite. 